This is Mitchell Zoller from Global Medical News Network. I'm speaking at the annual meeting of the European Hematology Association in Berlin. I'm talking to Dr. William Werder, who is a hematology oncologist at MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston, and he is uh, giving a presentation at the meeting on results from the pivotal style of atumabab um, in refractory CLL patients. So the drug was, the data from the pivotal trial was reviewed last week at the ODAC meeting and was voted uh, 10 to 3 for approval. Also the uh, study, uh, this particular study looked at uh, a at tumumab in a very uh, selected population, patients who were fludarabine resistant, and um, you were telling me that there is, are studies underway that's looking um, compared with chlorambucil as a first line agent, so the, uh, the direction now is per potentially to use this antibody earlier in the course of treating these patients? Absolutely. So there are a number of opportunities to develop antibodies and drugs in CLL. In terms of strategies for drug approval, the major route that uh, pharmaceutical companies have taken with the disease is to identify a population that has an unmet need. They should demonstrate activity in that unmet need. And then the follow-on studies to demonstrate e efficacy in phase three studies are done later so that the drugs are ex undergo accelerated approval and then the follow-on studies um, are done. The phase three studies are difficult in CLL because it's a chronic disease and the endpoints for the studies take a long time, several years. So the strategy with this drug was to de demonstrate activity in a pa patient population that had an unmet need with plans for subsequent phase three confirmatory trials. So there is a large confirmatory trial that is um, planned um, that will be chlorembicil versus chlorembicil plus ofatumumab. Uh, so it's a randomized phase three trial looking at progression-free survival as the endpoints. Um, and this will be in previously untreated patients, so an earlier patient population. Um, we also have a trial that we have completed with fludarabine, cyclophosphamide, and ofatumumab. That was a phase two trial. It was to a randomized phase two trial looking at two different dose levels of ofatumumab in previously untreated patients. We have a trial that we are planning to develop looking at single agent ofatumumab in a phase two trial in early untreated, uh, early stage untreated patients to have a better idea of what the activity and clinical benefit is in those early stage uh, patients uh, with the drug as a single agent. And the chlorambucil trial that you expect the results next year? Oh or? no, it'll be a number of years, uh -huh, several, several years, three, three years probably before there's results from mm -hmm. that study. Okay. This is Mitchell Zoller from Global Medical News Network.